What's the point in being outwardly sexy? Everybody. Oh. Eye candy for your man. Alluring and enticing if any voice with no legs, eyes, or a body can replace you. Mm. My sisters, we should dress for ourselves, impress for ourselves, never having any intention on becoming a trinket hanging off of any man's arm for his satisfaction. Mm. We've been overshadowed in moments by voices with no ambition but sex, by buttocks with no ambition but jeans draped across them, by bodies that resemble society's definition of beauty, by holes structured deeply enough to accommodate 10 to 12 inches. Your soul is deeper than that. Our story is longer than that. Self-esteem worth more than that, and our bodies do more than that. It should never have to be your aspiration to be better than another. Being you should be enough. Mm -hmm. I don't want my sister to hate me because she believes that we have entered into a competition for our own affirmation. May the best woman win. <laughs> we are all capable of being top notch, but somehow objectified into pieces, moving on a chessboard, opposing queens on the same side, both having started out as pawns and now. Having survived the nights encircling us and the threatening of other pawns, sideswiping our existence to eliminate us, we've both been promoted to queen. How ironic. Hmm. Now we each make power moves, unaware that our objective is the same, to be the best protector of our king. But if the queen is relegated to a position of slavery, to an ideal that she cannot achieve, the kingdom suffers. There is no way that I will be the cause of my matriarchal heritage crumbling for the sake of emotion. Kings and queens don't marry simply for love or sex. Mm. Kings and queens combine forces to fortify a kingdom. How dare you enlist the services of a queen and make her simply a concubine? Mm. And how dare any woman co-sign on this agreement? This is treason and you should learn the difference. Never has she moved like less than a queen. Never has she loved like less than a queen. Never has she ruled like less than a queen. And suddenly her chambers have been invaded by ideas and behaviors that imply her sexual impotence and minimalize prowess. She was royalty before you called her so has always stood strong and of notable stature through insults, moments of poverty, disease, robbery, molestation, rape, has always regrouped and rebuilt her kingdom alone to be stronger than before. She will not be trapped by this dungeon of slippery words that have been so cleverly crafted to keep her present. Neither will she be an accomplice to this playground fashioned on testosterone and masculine ego. I love my sister. And for every casualty that's been lost in this war that we call dating, I shed a tear of genuine sorrow. She should never have wound up destroyed because he superimposed his desire on her will. For every sister who gave up her crown because she chose subservience over reigning alone, I shed a tear. Her legacy was never meant to be cut short because she snapped or was driven crazy doing drive-bys. For every girl child who sees the queen of her castle treated as a booty call or a one-night stand, every night I cry for you. Your eyes were never meant to be exposed to our insecurities wrapped up in the experiences that we imagine love to taste like. Mm -hmm. For my sisters, blood is thicker than water, but water flows more freely, stains less deeply. We should sharpen our wits instead of our tongue, yeah. not raising our daughters to cut their teeth on the backs of their sisters. And having done all to stand, we should stand therefore in the agreement that our well-being is more important than a king to inhabit a kingdom that was already made complete. Mm -hmm. uh -huh.